quite a nice start there and you probably had the more difficult conditions in the afternoon. Um, yeah, I mean, starting out it wasn't so windy. So the front nine, um, it was pretty cruisy and then the back nine it picked up quite a bit. So, um, yeah, I mean, I knew it was going to pick up at some point. So, um, yeah, no, I, I hit it pretty solid. Just need to make a couple more putts to have that extra low one. How difficult is it for you to finish your season and do all the things that you did and then to kind of restart uh, knowing that you've got a break coming up? Is it um, tricky? I mean, like to come back to play this or? Yeah, and or just, just like have to get yourself up again after you've finished your season. Like, yeah. like LPJ season? Yeah, yeah. Um, I think I already knew that I had one extra, yeah. so it wasn't this, like, you know, a surprise or anything that I had to play. So, um, uh, you know, up till the last event, I was like, Oh, I still have another one, but when I got here, I felt much better. So, um, yeah, it's just nice to see the crowds out. And, you know, um, on one of the holes, some guy was blabbering on about you going over 60 kilometers an hour. And I, I was like, that's such an Aussie thing. <laughs> so, um, no, I kind of missed being home. And um, it's just really nice to be here. Did you, did you find the course quite tough? Obviously, you know, you did have a really solid round, but yeah, how did you find it out there? Some, um, of, some other golfers, you know, yeah. struggled, I suppose. Um, I drove it really well today, so I was in really quite, I was in prime position for my second shots. Um, but I, I found it a little bit tricky just reading the greens, I think. Um, I just haven't been out here that much to play. I only played the prime yesterday, so. Um, I don't know, maybe it's probably the same for everybody, but I think as the week goes on, I, I think I'll get a little, little more knowledge on the greens and get more experience under my belt. It seems like Kingston Heath might be playing, it might be an easier course. Um, are you kind of excited, I guess, to get out there in the morning? Hopefully you might like some good conditions. There was obviously a lot of birdies this morning. Um, I think it's just playing a little shorter than, um, than Vic. So there's um, all the par fives are almost reachable uh, for two. So. Um, when I did play it, I thought there was going to be a little, a little lower scores over at Kingston than here. But you know, that saying, there's quite a lot of opportunities here. You just have to play the par fives well, and you know, just have a birdie here and there on the par fours. So, yeah, I, I think it'll be nice to play. Probably, no, we won't have that much wind, so I think it'll be, I think it'll be good. And Grace obviously had a good start. Um, you know, she's had a big year making the LPGA tour and winning her first professional event and she's, yeah, she obviously had a good morning and it's good to see another Aussie up there as well. Yeah, I mean, most people playing this week are Aussies, so yeah, um, yeah it's always nice to see, uh, you know, the young girls doing really well and um, yeah, like you said, she got her LPGA card, um, which is which is great, another Aussie on tour. Um, but no, it is, it's great that the Aussies are doing so well and I think my name's up there um, come the weekend. Um, you, you mentioned the, the putting a little bit earlier and there was that one out of the bunk that I think sort of hit the edge of the green and just rolled back down. Do you feel like you could be a uh, few shots ahead of what you are now? Is that a little bit frustrating? I mean, I, I missed a few on the back nine that probably could have made, you know, it wasn't like super tight, but, you know, there's some, I mean, would, it would have really helped the momentum, I think. Um, but, you know, that being said, it was pretty tough out there, uh, two under, and hopefully I can uh, have a good score tomorrow. And can I just um, ask you about your brother as well? He's um, finishing up soon himself. Um, you know, obviously the first national tournament with both genders playing concurrently. Yeah. Um, what is it yeah. mean to you and the family? Um, I mean, I think Minwoo said it all um, in our press conference. It's um, it means a lot to us that we can both play in the same venue. Um, my grandma came out. My parents are here. Um, I, my grandma's sister's also here, so I, I feel like a lot of the family could come out, and we don't really have the opportunity to be all together and I think just the time and the, the quality, wait, the time that we can spend with them is um, we don't have too much opportunity to do that as well so it's just it's just nice. Did they have to split their allegiance? Like, did they um, follow? I, feel <laughs> you know? like, I, I feel like I didn't see my mom at all. She must have been following my brother. My dad here and there. Um, my, my nans, I, I, I mean I don't know, they're yeah. here and there just walking a few and just not walking a few, so yeah. Yeah. Is this the man who gave you your name? No, no. Um, actually, my grandpa, my grandparents, my dad's side grandparents, who are not here, gave me my name. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.